On July 23, 1983, Air Canada Flight 143, a Boeing 767, faced a harrowing emergency when Captain Robert Pearson and First Officer Maurice Quintal heard an alarming sound at 41,000 feet, telling them the engines had just flamed out. You see, due to a metric conversion error, the ground crew hadn't put in enough fuel, and with no engine power, the 767 was now a giant glider. Pearson, an experienced glider pilot, aimed for the decommissioned airbase at Gimli, Manitoba. But unbeknownst to them, the runway was being used for a family event, teeming with campers and go-kart racers. As the plane rapidly lost altitude, Pearson prepared for a dead-stick landing, while Quintal calculated the correct glide slope. The lack of hydraulic pressure caused the plane's nose to slam against the strip, bursting the nose gear and causing fires, but Pearson managed to bring the aircraft safely to a stop, allowing passengers to evacuate, and the 767, dubbed the Gimli Glider, continued to fly until 2008.